Eo, if you are here, you click the thumbnail, you know why we're here, you know what I'm about to do. The new year has come with that surge of change, the oh, new year, new me, and the new me wants to bleach her hair. I pled with YouTube to talk me out of this. These things never go well. But unfortunately, the majority of you encouraged me to do it. There were only two people that said, like, nah, don't do it. So whatever happens here today, I'm holding you all personally responsible. Now, realistically, my resolve is so weak that if like the two people had been the ones encouraging me and everybody else had said no, I'd be like, no, I have to do it for the two people. So anyways, the plan. I would like to bleach in a skunk striper money piece. I don't know what to categorize it because I'm gonna do this whole like front perimeter, which is more than what a skunk stripe is. And I want it really thin in the center which is more like a money piece, but I'm not gonna do any kind of ombre or diffusing. I'm literally going to do straight up block highlight, which is more like a skunk stripe. Plus I want it to be white, which is like textbook definition skunk stripe. I don't know, call it what you will, this is what I want. Now, some of you may know I have been to beauty school, which ups the ante on this. However, knowing something in theory is much different from being able to do it in practice. Hopefully my knowledge can lead me to success although that's typically not how this goes. Now the white is what I'm shooting for. That is kind of a pipe dream. I would be elated if I could get there. Now my optimistic result would probably be like a platinum blonde. I do think it's possible. Mind you, I have never gotten there before. In all the times I've bleached my hair, I have never gotten any lighter than like a honey blonde. So my realistic expectation is to get right there. <laughs> the honey blonde. I will not be happy with that, so I'll probably have to just dump a fun color on top if that's what happens. Oh, now that I think about it, this is probably the first time you guys have actually seen like my true length hair. I usually wear all kinds of hair pieces, but this is what I'm working with. I actually just recently cut it, but I made sure it's all nice and filthy unwashed for you guys today. Mmm, the natural oils are gonna protect my scalp, okay? Okay, at this point, I feel like we've got way too much buildup. Let's jump right in and try and make this happen. Wish me luck. So for materials, we have this ion cream lightener. I love this stuff. I don't think I'll ever go back to powder bleach after using that. Um, developer, I don't have any 30 volume, I'm out, but I have a 10, I have a 40. I figure two parts 40, one part 10 should net me at a 30. We've got my mixing bowl, foils, comb, clips, and <laughs> Good old T18, Brad Mondo's favorite. This is my optimistic toner, should I manage to reach platinum. If not, I have a couple backup options. We'll see. First things first, we've got a section. Like I said, I wanna go thinner up here at the top so it's not so bold white. And then I'm gonna kind of pull it out more to the ears, yeah. Oh, that looks so greasy. That just does not seem like a lot of hair. Oh well. Okay, I think I'm gonna work the bleach in four sections, basically like each of my curtain bangs is one and then these side pieces is one. Mixing up the bleach, going in. Now to be fair, I could use a brush to apply. I just prefer to use my hands. And you're not technically supposed to apply to the roots first. Um, I'm going to apply to them at the same time only because I will be using foils. So the roots will get the heat from my head and then the uh, mid strands will get the heat from the foils. At least that's the plan. We're hoping for an even lift. All right, I think that's good saturation. Let's try to foil. I'm always terrible at this. Other side. That's a good look. I'm gonna try and like pin these back so they're not right in my face. There we go. Okay, so this is always where the process goes wrong for me. I think I'm very, very antsy about letting bleach sit for too long, but we're trying to get to white, so I'm gonna really try and 
let it sit, do its thing for at least like 30, 40 minutes. Okay, so we are at 30 minutes now and things are looking pretty, pretty yellowy blonde. I think I wanna open a foil to see what's happening on the inside. Um, oh, oh, it gets worse as you go down. Looks like the foil heat is not quite keeping up with the scalp heat. <sighs> I think I will throw a little bit more bleach on now. It might be a waste because I'm only probably gonna keep this on my roots for another like 10 minutes max. Okay, we are almost to 50 minutes. I am beyond my comfort zone when it comes to the roots. I don't want to process them anymore. I'd rather them be too yellow than broken off. Um, and it doesn't look like the ends lifted all that much after the additional bleach. But that's okay. We can go through, we could do another bleach on the ends and I'll just make sure not to overlap onto the roots. Mama's got the full rainbow of hair colors on her head. It's like my roots are white <laughs> and my ends are brown and I have yellow, orange, and red in between. So the plan going in for the second bleach is literally to do like the tiniest sections, just razor thin sections. I will foil each one of them and just coat them with a ridiculous offensive amount of bleach. And I'm feeling motivated. So we're gonna go straight for 40 volume as is, because that 30 just didn't do the trick. All right, we're gonna do another 30 minutes. Hopefully when I come back, my ends match like right here. Okay, we're actually at like 40 minutes now. Oh, I'm about to go blind with some bleach in my eye. <laughs> Let's pull these out and see what we're working with. All right, that helps a lot. It's still, it's always hard to tell with lightener on because it looks lighter than it is, but I'm sure I'm at least at a yellow right now. So I think I'm just gonna take that and be okay with it. Let's rinse these out and then we'll work on the toner. Okay, so it is better, but again, the ends still look significantly darker than the roots. Now granted, the roots are already drying and these are still soaking wet. <laughs> Hello, damage. So I think what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna continue with the T18 toner. I think it will make a difference up here. I know I'm not quite light enough for it, but I do think it'll tone it down. It's not gonna make a difference on these ends. So I think I have this like, blue additive and I might just add that to the formula once I get down far enough to really try and cut out some of this much more brassy blonde. Worst case scenario, I hate it and I'll go with the contingency plan and put a color over all this. this sit for like 20 30 minutes okay moment of truth okay well it toned it did something certainly to the white parts and uh looks like a little bit to the yellow it's still probably gonna be pretty yellow once i get it dry let's dry it and style it and see what we're working with wow <laughs> I am super happy with this. Okay, so I'm not delusional. I know that the ends are significantly darker than the root. I think it helps that they kind of get wispy down here with all the black, so it's almost like you lose them anyways. But I will say, this is by far the blondest I've ever been able to get my hair. No, it's not platinum and it is definitely not white. Little bit of a bummer there, but what are you gonna do? I did consider putting a fun color over it, 
but I'm digging this. It's a vibe. It's a moment. Like, it's just enough to make the whole style pop. I feel like it makes my brows pop. And one of the things I love most is like all the movement with the different hairstyles. Like when you go half up, half down, you have a different look. When you go like bump up top, cause I don't do that. I'm not a millennial, <laughs> but it's a different look, you know, to the sides. We have different looks there. It's just so much fun. I think I'm gonna keep it just like this. Maybe when it grows out a little bit and I have to do a root touch up, then that would be a good time to go in with more bleach below the one spot that's like my tiniest root because that is truly white and I feel like if I went over that I might break all my hair off but I feel like everything else could stand more bleach and be just fine so end result we happy so thank you guys for watching and until next time uh, goodbye